Hello, my name is Benedikt Wilmes and I'm speaking to you from the University of Düsseldorf in Germany. Today I would like to introduce you to the Mesial Slider Appliance, an aesthetic non-compliance device used for orthodontic space closure in the maxilla. The management of missing teeth is a commonly presenting issue in orthodontics. To address, we have the options of considering either space closure versus space opening and coordinated prosthetic replacement. A complex anchorage challenge exists when bodily protraction of molars anteriorly is required without the retraction of the anterior teeth. To support the desired tooth movement and to reinforce the anchorage, TAD-supported mechanics may be used. In contrast to indirect anchorage, orthodontic brackets are not needed when direct anchorage mechanics are used. Additionally, space closure can be started immediately because a leveling phase is not required. With regard to the choice of the insurgent site, the T-zone of the anterior palate seems advantageous because all of the T's can be moved without any interference from the mini implants. Additionally, we find a good bone quality, a thin attached mucosa, minimal risk of tooth injury and a high success rate of retention of the TADs in the anterior palate. So let's come to the clinical case that is described in this paper. A 17-year-old female patient presented with absence of the maxillary first molar teeth. The patient reported a history of previously undergoing orthodontic treatment with fixed appliances. She presented with an angle class 1 malocclusion. The panoramic radiograph confirmed the presence of the unerupted maxillary third molars, so protraction of second and third molars was considered. To this end, bands were adapted to the maxillary molars, two benefit mini implants were inserted after local anesthesia, and an impression was recorded to facilitate laboratory fabrication of the mesial slider appliance. It is also possible to fabricate the appliance chair side, but this requires more clinical time. The protraction of the maxillary molars was initiated with the application of closing coil springs. Later in the treatment, elastic chains were added to maintain the required force levels to continue tooth movement. Treatment was completed in just under 12 months with successful bodily movement of the maxillary second and third molars. The clinical outcome noted to be stable over a three-year period of retention. In this paper, we have described space closure to address the issue of missing maxillary first molars. Similarly, space closure to address the absence of lateral incisors canines and second bicuspid teeth is possible. The mesial slider appliance has proven to be a very useful device, especially for patients that are not prepared to wear class 3 elastics. Secondly, the adjunctive use of the mesial slider appliance in combination with aligners shows promise. The challenging aspects of bodily movement of the molars can be achieved with these sliders to the mesial or to the distal, with the detailing and finishing aspects of the treatment plan facilitated with the use of aligners. Thank you so much for watching this short video presentation and I look forward to sharing more of our insights soon. Bye bye.